What kind of witchery is this? Good lord, this is odd. But it's also fun. I died. But look at this. These guys, the vacuum chest, is holding this in spot. Here. Cool. I like it. Can I employ it? I really need to find a way. And it actually put itself in the correct order in my bag, almost. Uh, <laughs> kind of cool. So, hello guys. Tivik here. Welcome back to Minecraft Season 8. We are on episode 22 and... I'm not sure yet. I haven't added any more engines, really, since the last episode. And, uh, yeah. Let me just kill off that waypoint there. It seems to work, though. Uh, but these do fight each other, and that's probably not too good for uh, FPS, stuff like that. But, these guys work. So if I do this and get them up to mature status, it will be harvested. As soon as they get power, plop, 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 and it harvests them. And this one is filling up nicely. So, I can't believe that I have this many different crops out, but it's really, really cool, isn't it? I do need to find a way to store this and handle it, but we'll get to that later. For now, I'm just gonna let it run until it's full, because it will stop them. Uh, and really, when it's full, really don't need it. Oh, and uh, over in the kitchen here. What? Go away, spider. I added this chest here so I can access them as well. So I might set up some system to pull out from there and put into these if the item is already in there. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, today I want to start with a new mod. I want to start with a mod that I know very little about and uh, would like to do a lot more with. And it involves flowers. It involves the Botania flowers. So you might guess. Yes, indeed. So, we need to make a uh, Lexi... That's the Lexica Botanica. So we need a book and a sapling. Not a problem. Book. We have a book. We have a sapling and we have the Lexica Botanica. Okay. Basics. Lexica Botanica is the repository of all knowledge for all botany-related matters, but you probably knew that already. Yes. Um, I should be able to shift, right, click. Oh, yeah. So, what do we need? Uh, mana is an ethereal substance. Okay. Uh, I need um, generating flowers, mana spreaders, and... Uh, I need to get Daybloom, Mana Spreader, Mana Pool. So let's find mm, some um, mystical flowers. How do we make Pestle Mortar? Mortar, I need that. Um, Flora Fertilizer. Mm, no. Oh. Oh, one second. How is so? Oh, there we go. Do we have graphic again? Look alright? Yeah, good. Okay, but um, what do I need to start with? Uh, let's find the generating flora. I need the day bloom. Um, day bloom is made in a petal apothecary with orange. Light blue, mystical yellows. So we need a few flowers and we also need that thing. So why don't we get this pestle thing? Well, that was easy. Sticks. Oh. We do have sticks, don't we? Yes. And we need a bowl. Isn't that something like that? Yes. And we need a pestle and mortar. Perfect. We also needed to get this, um, let's get the mod 
list for Botania. This one. We need one of these flowers plucked. Okay. Which one? Mystical. One that I have a lot of. Uh, since it's not too important which one it is. We go. And if I now dash over here and make this... I can make a petal apothecary. Excellent. Now, let me find a place to set this up and uh, be back with you, because this needs a bit of a nice location. I need to maybe make myself a grove or something, just because it needs to look good. So, I need to figure out where. Mm, back in a moment. Alright, so, pretty happy with this. So, hopefully this will work out. I put this on a bit of a pedestal, because... It's easier, and I think I might even make it a bit more, but let's take a look again at what we needed for some Daybloom. Daybloom requires two yellow, an orange, and a light blue. Two yellow, an orange, and a light blue. Let's make a few extra. And we pluck these like that, and I'm gonna put them in like so. Uh, we need water, so I put a, ba a barrel here for that. So, two yellow, an orange, and a light blue. Something happening. Did I misunderstand something here? Um Okay, so Water, uh, mystical petals. Oh, I need seeds. Um, I know I have some of those. Let me get them. Let's just get some... some normal wheat seeds. That should be enough for a while. I put the seeds in there. And... Uh, We'll drop in a seed. Whoa! I have a day bloom. Excellent! But also the water is out, so let's uh, scoop some water. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Put it back in. Let's make one more. And... I uh, wonder, can I make more? Nope. I can't. Okay, so how do I get them back? I don't. I break it, and I get them back. Whew. That's good. So, water, and put it in there, and... Um, sad thing, you can't make all at once. Perfect. I just wish I could refill these automatically. I couldn't figure it out, though. There we go. We have some day bloom, a sting of light. Uh, so let's place a day bloom. And let's take a look at this. Simply put, it performs a modified photosynthesis process, blah. Ten or a dozen of these should get the job done. Uh, they compete among themselves. So I can't put them next to each other, but if I do that shape, um, that, that, actually, let's not put it here. We'll move it to this corner. This is the day bloom. This, 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 and we need one more. So let's see. Light blue orange, is it? Yes. So, water. Yellow, yellow, light 
blue and orange and a seed. Perfect. Five. This should be a bit. Okay, what do we need more? Um, I need... Nope, not that. Mystical items, no. Mana manipulation, I need a mana pool. Any functional flowers require a mana pool to draw power from. Mana can be inserted into by use of a mana spreader and any adjacent mana spreaders will pull mana from it, okay? Uh, so how do we make it? We need living rock. So, what do we need for that? Uh, pure daisy. Um, pure daisy is... Just whites. We'll try this. Water and one, two, three, four. And seeds. I have a pure daisy. Um, now I need a few items, so why don't I hop down and back again? So if I understand this right, all I need to do is place down uh, some of these. Place the pure daisy in between and wait for a while. Wow, look at this. Can I do this? Will it convert all the stones? I should get out my pickaxe with silk touch in case it won't. Come on. How long is this going to take? Well, it's working with something. There are no particles coming from the upper layer here, so probably can't work with them. So let's just do one layer. So was it that? Yep, smooth stone. Wait just a minute or so. In the meantime, let's make another flower. Whoa! We have living rock. Excellent. Let's uh, grab this. Let's make another one. I hate when it does that. I need to fix it. I need seeds. Thank you. Just because I can and just because it's slow otherwise. There we go. Now we got two sets here. What do we need the living rock for? Well, we can make stairs. The mana distributors needs mana steel, I had no idea, but mana void, no. Mana tablets, probably something we're gonna need later. But I think what we need is... Tiny planet? Huh. The diluted mana pool. Yeah. So, why don't I make a crafting table? Because I realized we don't have one here. I'm gonna put it there. And we can make a mana pool. I'm just curious. There are a few different. Diluted. And there's the mana pool. And then the everlasting. Oh, that's um, creative. So how does this work? Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. One of the forest, and we need to make that one. That's twigs, which is living wood. So we're gonna... Nice, cool effect. I liked it. Definitely. Okay. 
Now I'm curious, can it work on spruce? Oh, not there. Yes, it seems to. Which is good. Because we need that as well. Um, so if I understand this... Uh, the runic altar... Is needed to make complex stuff. We'll, we'll wait with that, but... Um, mana spreader. Most important component. It's living wood, uh, gold, and uh, one of these little things. So let's get us a few gold. I need to figure out where to put this. Uh, I'm probably gonna put it like here. Because I will have space nearby here for these to work. Probably put something there so it can point down. Come on, make these into things already. Uh, I need I need to. Well, we'll make it lime. Excellent. And I realize I have made this area way too small, but it works for now. And uh, it's a good playground for this, so I can figure out how the mod works. Because I really have very little idea how it's working. Let's uh, try and see if we can fill this um, up with anything. So let's just... that's a mana spreader. Okay, um, and uh, we could make twigs, so if we make three, and then craft these into that, I have a wand of the forest, and I'm supposed to be able to, oh yeah, look at that, I can, there we go, now it's pointing into there, so it's accepting mana from items. Do I need to do anything with this one? I suppose it's not daytime, so it's probably not doing anything. Can I make uh, any night style uh, generating flora? We have nightshade, counterpart of day bloom. So that's black, black. Uh, gray and purple. Do we have that? Black, black. Gray. And purple. We can make that. I see that I'm running over time a bit here, but I just want to make these and see if they can um, function. So we need black petals, gray petals, Purple petals and seeds. So black, black, gray, purple, and seed. Water, black, black. There we go. It's already morning, so. Nightshade. Um, let's do the same here. Place that one down. Then it's gonna be. There and there. I need to figure out the way I want to set this, but um, I also need to make another one of these. Oh, we're out of living wood for that, so that's not going to be done in this episode, but hopefully if I now equip this one we should see some generation. It's generated mana. Look, we got mana. Woohoo! We have mana. Excellent. Can I? Huh. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's aiming for the mana pool. Hmm. There we go. Is that sending anything? Oh, it is. It, see, it says diluted mana pool, so it is putting it in there. That's excellent. Um, and even though I don't have that equipped, I will still see it shoot mana every now and then. So, this is cool. I really like this. Um, I think that I will be expanding my uh, area out here, or even moving it down. We'll see. Um, oh, and we have that. Let's... Uh, Let's grab them while we're at it. Anyhow, guys, I'm going to round it off here. I'm up to 20 minutes almost. So I do hope you enjoy this uh, little foray into the world of Botanica. And uh, in the next episode, I will dive even further, see what I can do. There is a specific thing I'm looking for, and that is the air sigil or something like that. Um, let me take a look uh, here. Mystical item. Nope, nope, um, bubbles and accessories, no, hmm, interesting, there was something that I was looking for. Ah. Well, the runic altar can make runes. There is no information about the runes. Why? There should be. Before proceeding further, I'll read through the most important. Sixteen runes. Rune of water, rune of earth. There we go, rune of air. So we need mana steel. How do you do that? Block of iron into mana pool makes a block of mana steel. At a one to one ratio. That's not too bad. But, yeah. At any rate, guys, I am babbling. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.